Hi everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome. So, I'm doing this live stream today because you guys have been requesting that I go live. So, here I am, live and direct. So, okay, today's live stream is titled Common Sense is a Must. And this is really, really important because when you guys are going out and dating and stuff, common sense is a necessity. When you're going on to online dating, common sense is a necessity. And hi guys, hey, 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 hey. So it's really important that you use your common sense. So I'm kind of piggybacking um, today's topic off of one of my points yesterday in yesterday's video which was about using your gut instinct and stuff did you guys watch yesterday's video or no hi from houston hi hey lady b melanin goddess texas ebony princess danelle hi siva glad i caught one of your live videos yeah i'm glad too yay welcome hola como estas you did. Okay, cool. All right, great. Hi, everyone. All right, so basically, one of the points in that video was about using your gut instinct. So, hey, my best diva ziva in your fan, wait, I'm your fan from Botswana in Africa, learning a lot from you. Oh, wow, I love Botswana. I've seen some programs on it and stuff. Okay, so, all right, let's get into the topic. So, Common sense is a must. And the reason why I say this is because some of you guys, like, um, are not using it or you're not using it all the time and you want to ask me questions on on everything and for some things you just have to use your own, your own mind and your own judgment, right? So, for example, let's say you are dating online and you're not getting, you're not having any luck. Like, the first thing to do is to think, okay, what are my pictures looking like? Do they look good? Do I look like a hot mess? Maybe I just need somebody to tell me how my photos really look. Because what you see and what someone else sees may be completely different. So you've got to think, okay, it's not working online. Let me change my pics. If when you change your pics, that doesn't work. Okay, what is my bio saying? What's my profile like? Am I rambling on for 10 years for no reason when nobody cares? Or is it short, sweet, straight to the point? So you've got to think, you have to make, yeah, you do have to make mistakes, you do. But you also have to use your own brain cells and learn from it. Okay, right, it's not working, so let me change this. It's not working, so let me do that. You don't have to ask me for everything because I feel like the videos that I've done have given you guys the tools. Okay, right, I need to make sure my pictures look like this. I need to make sure that my bio says this. I've even given a video saying exactly what to write in your bio for help. So I feel like just use some of the tips that I've given you guys. Go away, do that. And if it doesn't work, then come to me. So... Yeah, keep it short, sweet, straight to the point because nobody cares about the whole, you know, where you went on holiday last year, what your goals and ambitions are. Nobody cares. They don't care. All right? So just keep it short and sweet. Okay, so I'm getting ready to freeze. Yay, good luck, hun. Good luck. Make sure you're looking cute. And I'm sure you'll be successful. All right, so another thing with common sense is you guys are dating online and I have to address this again. I know I put it in my video yesterday, but I really do have to address this again because like I'm having one-on-one -on -one sessions with people and certain things are coming up. People are DMing me, commenting, and these things keep on coming up. So if somebody asks you when you're dating online, you don't have an arrangement established with them and out of the blue, they are basically offering to send you money. That is a red flag, okay? And you guys know it's a red flag. If you get um, 
a proposal by somebody and you know it's too good to be true you know that there must be something weird behind this you know that it doesn't seem 100% genuine then it just isn't it probably isn't so things like that as well you already know it's not genuine so you just have to use your common sense okay like this guy wants to offer me money okay but is this genuine or am I being desperate that I just want it to be real okay so stop desperation and use the brain cells that you have because I know you guys all have them <laughs> yeah trust your gut hey Kia it's because people overthink everything and they aren't just going with the flow of being feminine and having fun with being a girl that's what a man wants. That is true. That that is what men want. And another thing as well, like you just said about going with the um going with the flow and stuff. Just relax, everyone. Just relax and just enjoy going out dating. Enjoy it. Like what Lady B just said. Definitely enjoy it. Okay, so common sense. Can you guys think of a scenario that you have um needed to use your common sense in so let's just say for example you're going out on a date with somebody and one moment they say to you like okay so one moment they say to you all right let's meet up on this day at this time then two hours before the date they change it okay let's meet in let's put it back then like you've got to think they message again let's put it back a bit Oh, I'm, I'm still busy. I'm still doing stuff. Do you really think that that's the type of person that is head o is going to be head over heels about you and is going to do what you want? Depending on the circumstance, obviously. But if there is somebody that is basically playing you about, they probably aren't the right candidate for you to be going for. So that's another thing you've got to use your common sense with that. Okay, what type of guy is the right candidate for me to be going for? What type of guy? Ah! Hey, Shayna Boyd. Just want to say hey and you look beautiful. Thank you so much. That's really, really sweet of you, hun. Thank you. Yeah, block and delete, honey. Thank you, Shayna. I really appreciate that. So let's use our common sense with the guys that we're going for with the guys that we're speaking to you know you've got to use your common sense with that I feel like some people there is a line blurred of desperation and <laughs> desperation for I don't know for attention for an SD for a boyfriend for money there's desperation for some things and that can honestly make your common sense go be flushed down the toilet so let's use the common sense now. Let's use it. All right, so just in case somebody want, is going to ask me in the comments and stuff, the lipstick that I'm wearing is NYX Slip Tease. So, no, Motel Dreams, sorry. NYX Motel Dreams. So high interest men only, right, hey, yeah, yeah. Yeah, high interest men only. So, okay, let's, for example, let's say you guys have been, I'm trying to give you guys examples and scenarios so that you can use this video as a point of reference instead of, you know, messaging or double checking for everything. So you guys can do it yourself, all right? So let's say, for example, I'm giving you scenarios that you guys come to me with all the time. Um, that one of the guys that you guys are speaking to has asked you to go out on a date and then he hasn't followed it up again. So he's basically, he's basically stopped talking to you and he's forgot that you exist because he's busy or he's not that interested in you. Like you guys come to me and you say, should you send him a message? Should you do this? Should you do that? If a man wants to see you, if he's interested in you, if he wants to speak to you again, he will. So you don't always need to chase people. So you've got to use common sense there. Is he really interested in me? Or was he just doing this, running his mouth like people do? Because people do that, don't they? 
not everybody who speaks to you is interested so just remember that not everybody is actually a potential just because they speak to you one time or because you go on one date they're not necessarily a potential for you they probably wanted to see if they could potentially sleep with you like that so they're not necessarily your potential all right so yes people are desperate and that's actually pushing your blessings away that's true what if a man is showing low interest before but still messages you daily i have gotten twenty thousand from him in the past years sorry if i am not using my brain cells <laughs> um okay so all right so he messaged you he messages you every single day but he's not that interested in you so he's not trying to see you is that what you mean right now and you got 20,000 from him donkeys years ago. So you're not getting it from him now, are you? So I would say for a situation like that, at the end of the... If you wanted to try to make something happen, then maybe say to him one day, um, since he is actually speaking to you, maybe say to him one day, so... All right, so let's just say he says that he's at work. You could be like, oh, I'm actually going to be around that area later. Um, that's funny. And see if he suggests for you guys to meet, like to go for lunch or something. And if he doesn't, then just forget about it because he's just not, like, he's maybe just using you for when he's bored, for female attention. So if he doesn't offer to see you and go on a date with you, then maybe he's just not that interested in you in the capacity that he once was. So then just forget about it. Because people will people will play you about, guys. People will make out like they want to speak to you, but then if they are not actually trying to see you or trying to give you something or trying to treat you as well as they did, Maybe there's a reason why. You're welcome, Hair of Lux. Alright, so one of the challenges I face is turning the vibe of desperation into abundance and gratitude. Do you have any tips that have worked for you? turning the vibe of desperation that's a mental choice like you have to make a conscious choice because that's the type of thing if you are constantly putting out the vibe of like desperation and stuff then you're always go going to need something you're always going to be desperate for something if this is like this is like um you know they say the law of attraction and all that stuff this is that type of stuff so you, you just have to change the way you're thinking honestly and to feeling grateful it's a choice it's a choice so there really are no tips other than it's a choice that you make hi girl if you're desperate people can tell people can tell and guys can smell it they can literally smell and sense desperation and we can sense it as well you've got to think when you know that there's a girl that's like desperate for guys attention you know she's dressing like like she's gonna die if a guy doesn't look at her that day you you know what i'm talking about you know half the girls like i'm gonna say half the girls on instagram <laughs> um like obviously that's a culture instagram i'm just i'm just being funny but when you see that type of person dressed outside you know that if they don't like it's desperation in my in my view by the way you dress you can be perceived as desperate if you've got green hair you now look like you are desperate for attention as well if you are one of those loudspeakers you can be perceived as desperate so it's about the way you think if you're feeling desperate and sometimes just the way that you make yourself look you can look desperate as well if your whole boobs, your whole chest is out. My video, it was quite a funny video actually. Um, you know it's a video that I just did about how to flirt with guys and I was wearing a lingerie thing. Some people will literally go out on a date with that much cleavage out. 
some people will do stuff like that hey love you some people will do that and it's like that is this that's desperation <laughs> hey babes hey so it's just about you guys not looking desperate as well because that's really sad isn't it when there's a lady and she's like desperate she's not even attractive anymore and people will naturally just want to use you and see what they can get from you people meet your energy before meeting you have you have to have an abundant mindset yeah you kind of have to act like you don't care yeah you're good with it you're good with or without them and he doesn't determine your happiness exactly and not even just how to act but that's how you should naturally kind of feel and I know that it can be really difficult for us especially as like women even when we say sometimes oh um that we don't oh I just care about the money I don't care if this and care if that but deep down even if it's a tiny bit, you still don't want somebody to be using you just for one thing. You still want them to at least kind of like the person you are, you know, just a tiny bit. Well, not just as women, I think everybody's like that a tiny bit. But yeah, we shouldn't be desperate for people's approval, people being around us. No, no, no. Because that is, that's boring. That's dry. Alright, so this is kind of a quick video anyway. I really wanted to come on here because you guys have been asking me when I'm going to go live and stuff. So that's why I wanted to bring a live stream to you. But can I ask you guys, have you been enjoying my shorter videos or, or no? Let me know if you've been enjoying that. I know you girls, I know what you guys are saying. I have kept myself to myself. Not really about me wanting attention from guys but more about staying on track with the right vibe to continue attracting yeah so basically you're not staying around loads of friends loads of people because you want to keep your energy right yeah hi Ziva I'm wondering what outfits could be good for dates and uni I don't like how unavailable I am to date so I'm thinking of using after uni hours yeah like uni you got to think like your last lecture and stuff you're going to be finished uni let's just say the latest i don't know by the time you go back up you put your books away your bag whatever let's just say 6 p.m you can go out on a date from like 7 p.m so i would say you still have time to date but because you're at university i just want you to just like have fun but you can still date and have fun when you're at uni so outfits well you want to wear outfits that are really, really cute. So, for me, dresses, heels, um, heeled footwear, heeled boots, soccer boots, um, over-the-knee boots. Um, you can wear bodycon skirts, cute tops. Um... Somebody asked me to do a video showing specific outfits, so I think that might be something I might have to do. Um, ah, faux leather trousers. I love my faux leather trousers. So faux leather trousers are really, really sexy. If you have an amazing figure, then you can get away with wearing, like, skinny jeans as well. I personally can't get away with just wearing skinny jeans and stuff because my body isn't like it's not it's not all the way good enough for me to just wear that and look amazing so I have to do a tiny bit more but depending on what you look like you can wear skinny jeans nice top heels as well so it just depends how you look but naturally if you're wearing dresses you just look like you've made more of an effort as opposed to when you're wearing trousers so that's what I would suggest to wear on dates so, um, all right, you like the longer videos, <laughs> okay, all right, so you guys like longer videos, okay, love all the info and guidance from your vids and everyone that shares, very helpful, thank you ladies, yeah, they are, everybody's comments are helpful as well, thank you for that comment, Grime Light blog. 
when a lady is desperate, even her beauty can't be much of a power to her anymore. That's so true. When people are desperate, they don't even look that good anymore, do they? That's so true. All right, longer videos are best. All right. I love all your vids. Can you do a video on outfits and how to talk, act or talk? Word choice is very important. Um, okay, so this whole outfits thing, I will think of how to do this video. Um, yeah, I'll think of the outfits video. How to talk, it's more just about Okay, let's say you're going out on a... I'm just going to touch on this now. Let's say you're going out on a date with a guy that is a bit more um, rough around their edges, but he still has a lot of money because there are people that have money that aren't necessarily that well-spoken. Like, there's lots of people like that. So if your person speaks like that, then you may want to tweak yourself a tiny bit to be more similar to them. If the person who you're going out on a date with is extremely well spoken, then you make sure that you are well spoken, like to the best of your ability as well. So it's about trying to kind of emulate what your date, how your date is and your date's background and stuff to make a connection with them. Because if your date sounds like really cockney and you sound really posh or well spoken then there is a divide instantly so just try to kind of emulate them now like when you say how to how to how to talk how to act I feel like the femininity video and the how to flirt videos really explain that so I'll need you to break that down what you mean more you know with the how to act thing Hey Gigi. Wait, what? Okay. Hey Matilde, my sugar daddy asked me what allowance I needed. I said 1500. Ooh, oh girl. <laughs> uh, so just, just say to him, Wow, yeah. Wow. Um that hurts. <laughs> All right, so um, just say to he might be bluffing, but just say to him that you really want to that you kind of miscalculated and anything you say at this point is going to sound strategic just because um he has told you like it's going to sound strategic just because he told you wow his budget was actually double what you said so at that point you kind of have everything to lose so you have to be really careful with how you act so i personally would keep my mouth closed for about two weeks and then I would say to him, look, I really want to go shopping or something, or a week or something, and say, look, I really want to go shopping and um, buy really nice clothes so I look good for you every time. Is there any way that you could give me a tiny bit more, you know, every month? And then a couple of weeks later, you say that there is an unexpected um, emergency that you need some extra money for, and over a prolonged period of time so let's say that you need to there is tax that you um that you haven't paid and you need to pay extra every month so that's another thing that he'll give you extra for every single month so you're trying to build that up little by little because you really don't want to sound strategic with him because you don't want to lose it if he's open to giving you that money you don't want to lose it so just at the end of the day, it depends. I don't know the ins and outs. I don't know the, the details. I don't know what he's like. Is he really uptight? Is he more laid back? Like I, I would need to know a bit more about it. So depending on him, wait a tiny bit after a few dates, then say to him, look, I want to go shopping. I want to buy clothes for you um, to look really good for you. So just make up different reasons why you need that allowance to be boosted up monthly without saying, I need more right now because the budget was double what I said, you know? 
All right. But Matilda, oh, that really hurts. That really hurts. That's why I say like 1500 just does not do it. Like, I feel like you're, you say more, you say more than what you need. So to avoid that situation from happening. Oh, what's better to meet rich men in person or, or from online sites? Well, I think both are good to be honest. Like at the end of the day, if you can meet somebody in person, then that's fine. But you have to spread yourself out more and you have to really find the time to go and you can't be in a million places at once. So it's good to do both because online you meet people who you may not necessarily meet and in person it's obviously amazing too because if a guy comes over to you and he speaks to you, that kind of speaks more than a guy you know, sending you a like online. So it definitely is nicer to meet people in person, I would say, but you can still create an impact with them on that first date. When you are when you meet them in person, you can create that, that amazing impact with them instantaneously. But when it's online, you have to create that impact on the first date. And I would say that that's the main difference. So both are okay, I would say, because we're in a different day and age at this point. So it's like online is, that's what everybody does, you know, and depending on where you live as well, a lot of people, like not everybody goes up to women anymore. Like these men these days can be so weird. So you have to make that happen as well. If you do go out, you have to be prepared to make that conversation start wait okay sorry guys I think my live just just disconnected for a second I think I'm back <laughs> all right so you threw all your pants in the trash oh dear well that's not too bad the only like trousers I would suggest that you really have are faux leather trousers so can you guys comment and let me know if I'm back so I actually know just say yes if I'm still live, honey. Okay, I see you guys commenting, so yeah. All right. What would be a good first designer gift for you ladies? Okay, so you're asking the girls. All right, I don't have intimacy with them. They just lose interest fast. Wait, what? When? So when you don't be intimate with them, they lose interest in you quickly. Okay. So, I mean, well, you have to captivate them. But like I said in my other video, I've said this before, obviously if they're not getting that, then the shelf life will be less. So just remember that. Okay, I'm not too sure what's going on with this live stream. <laughs> okay, all right, I'm back now. Okay, this live stream is so weird. I think I've been rambling and I've not been live. I don't know. All right, so a trench coat is cute. All right, so tips for going out alone if you want to freestyle. So if you want to go out and you want to meet somebody in person, then a tip is that you look your best, that you seem approachable, that your energy is all the way right. Because if you're, if in your mind you're thinking, like, if in your mind you're thinking to yourself, I have to be approached today, oh my gosh, is this going to be the day I really, really want to meet someone, then you, that's not the right vibe to be giving off. So it's more of, I look good today and I'm open to being approached. That's more of the vibe. You're going out looking nice, living your life. And it's not that you're going, like, okay. In the back of your mind, obviously you want somebody to approach you, right? 
the right person to approach you but it's about you going out and living your life anyway and because you look so nice all the time you smell nice your energy's all the way right your makeup looks good your hair looks good your nails look nice people will speak to you anyway so it's about just making sure that you look nice and that's honestly the best advice I could give um put yourself in positions where people can speak to you so like you're not on your phone, so you look approachable, you are at a bar situation, so by yourself, so people can come over to you, you make eye contact with people to build that connection, even if it's just for a, a split second, you've built some type of connection with them, as opposed to keeping yourself like your eyes, your head down, you know, like somebody sitting like this, or even like this, it's so different to somebody sitting like this. You know, there's just a big difference. So just work your angles, look at yourself in the mirror. What? How do I look cute? Like, what position should I have, you know? And just deal with it like that. <laughs> Thank you, AJ. I want to look and act as charming as possible. I like, what, when, when you guys say that, like, there's this potential I'm interested in, I never understand that. So I'm just trying to figure out what is the situation. So do you mean, have you met him online or? I never understand that situation. Is it a work thing where they, they're like your boss or something? No. How did... Wait. Were you financially stable before you started going out? How... How... Okay, so let me just answer each question <laughs> as I read, honey. All right, so was I financially stable? So, no, not really. <clears throat> no. Because I... <clears throat> excuse me. I was in a position where I had debt... And I did, I was working, but you know, it just was not, it just wasn't enough. And I really wanted somebody to help relieve me of my debt, to be honest. So I wasn't completely desperate and I was still able to pay for what I needed to pay for, but I wanted somebody else to do it for me. So that was what kind of encouraged me to start actually sugaring. So, no, I wasn't fully financially stable, but I could still pay all my bills and stuff, yeah. All right, so, how did you do your level up without being stressed about money? So, I didn't really, I mean, I kind of started doing certain things before, um, before I got SDs, but remember guys, my change in my appearance has actually changed more recently. So I feel like I wasn't all the way, like as you just saying, like leveled up or whatever, um, before. I feel like I wasn't, and I feel like I've done it now. I felt like I kind of was, but I just wasn't. <laughs> it was when I started doing videos, that was when I saw like, wow, like I actually look really crusty. So the videos helped me to be honest. So I wasn't stressed about the money because I didn't feel like I really needed to improve my looks that much. <laughs> Which is kind of funny because I did need to improve it and I still do need to improve it. All right, so like how did you focus on not being desperate to be taken care of? Because I just felt like it was going to happen for me. Like you guys, some of you are so like worried. Oh, am I going to find one? I was taking so long. I was on seeking arrangement for so many hours every day for about three weeks and I found something I found someone I was speaking to like a lot of people a lot of people so I wasn't being really really fussy in the beginning and I was just being really really I was on it I was messaging 
so many people, I was favouriting people, I was speaking to loads of people, I was really, really trying, I was putting so much time into it, that there was no way that I wasn't going to meet someone. It was just a matter of when. Thank you. No, someone just said I look really lovely. So, um, should you or can you ask an old what's your price date for money? I feel like that's a no-no. I Like, for, for me, there's just some things that I just won't do, and that's one of them. Like, to ask, like, okay, so how many, it depends on different things, though. How many dates did you go on previously? At the end of the day, you don't have anything to lose. You don't have anything to lose. Um, change your profile pic. Let's say it's on WhatsApp. You're going to message him. Change your profile pic. Make sure it looks really lovely and sexy. Send him a message. Hey, how are you? And just start a conversation. When he asks you, how are you doing? Then try to bring up, or oh, to be honest, like just stressed about money and this and that. And see if he offers. Or you could just be blunt and just ask him. <laughs> If you have nothing to lose, then why not? How do you start sugaring? Like, you just you just start. You just find somebody who actually wants to give you money. Like, I can't really break that down anymore. So, in my video, my first initial video, how to find, how to get a sugar daddy, I think it's called part one. I've got how to find a sugar daddy part two like you need to watch those videos basically it's the same it's the same um as just having a guy that gives you that looks after you you know so just find somebody who's willing to help you out that's basically what it is i feel like i don't know how i can really break that down you start sugaring by meeting an older guy you bring up a thing that you need help with or you find somebody who offers to help to give you money or that's organically or you find somebody specifically on a sugaring site so that's how you start sugaring you feel so much better when you look good yeah like my confidence has definitely risen but i still have you know, I still have more improvements to make with my appearance and stuff. So, yeah, there's still other things I want to change. Um, like, one of the things as well is my, my eating. So, right now, I'm on a vegetable. Oh, guys, <laughs> I just keep thinking about food. But I'm only eating vegetables and fruit right now. So, I'm really trying to get rid of any, any excess fat that I have. I have, like, um... What's it called? Visceral. I think it's called visceral fat. Is that the correct terminology? So it's the fat inside. And I think that's what I have a problem with. So I'm just trying to figure that out. So um, so figure-wise, I'm trying to improve. Also, like, my under eyes as well. I think I might get a procedure done. But I don't know. Because this is a slippery slope for me. I've already done... Um, up up here so I've already started with a few, a few fillers so if I start getting more things like I'm still in my 20s and I'm going to be getting fillers every so I don't know I feel like it's a slippery slope so let's see okay so I'm curious what are your thoughts on what's your price my thoughts on what's your price are well that what's your price is a really good app you know well it's not an app but it's a really good site i was doing what's your price dates before and i think when you like for extra money what's your price is so easy to make that extra money it really is so i think that what's your price dates are very good they're also good practice for you guys because you get to dress up you get to go out on dates practice your femininity practice your flirting game, pr practice how to captivate somebody, so you can practice on your what's your price dates, because these guys, not being funny, but they don't really matter, so you practice on those, 
get their little 100 pounds 150 pounds however much they're paying you and then you implement what you're you know what you're practicing on the real on the real guys you know so i think what's your price your what's your price is really good How do you know a daddy is serious in the first conversations? Because he will want to meet you really, really quickly. Um, yeah, he'll want to meet you. And that's how you know if he says he wants to meet you. At the end of the day, guys, like, you're not a mind reader, so you can't all the way know. But you know when somebody isn't genuine. So you can kind of suss out, okay... Well, he's not offering me money right now before he's met me. Uh, he's interested in meeting me. Uh, he seems kind of respectful so far. So, right, he might be an actual potential that's serious. So that's how you gauge it. You're welcome. Oh, you got fillers. Oh, really? And how, how was that for you? Did you actually get the fillers in your under eye or d like with the cannula or did you get um, your your cheeks like your cheeks plumped up to reduce it? How did you how did you reduce it? OK, so. Um, just met a potential, but he keeps insisting on picking me up. Oh, gosh, he like he's just trying to he just wants to come to your place and he just wants to come and bang you. <laughs> Like, um, just tell him that if he keeps on insisting to pick you up, then say, okay, and let him pick you up from a different place. Like, if you, wait, you're saying a potential, so that means you don't know him, so no. When I said let him pick you up, I meant if it's somebody you've been dating, you know them at that point, but you said he's a potential, so that means you don't know him because he's still a potential so it's just a no just tell him i'm fine i can make my own way or tell him that you're coming from somewhere else so it makes sense for you to just make your own way like he's just trying to be smart and he's not so i feel like it's way harder sugaring as a black woman no 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 like I I can't take away from like your personal experience but I'm gonna say this like anybody of any race if they don't if they haven't made their self look attractive to men then they will find it difficult okay so let's say you are uh, I don't know let's just say you're Chinese or something and you're dressed um, like I don't know. So this, I'm just making an example. So let's just say it's a Chinese woman and the way she's dressed is like, uh, like she's boring, like she doesn't have fun. The way she's got her hair is like, um, in two plaits like this, like a child. Let's just say she's dressed in that way. She's not black, but she probably won't be successful because she doesn't look attractive. Like the way she's making herself, um, the way she's making herself look is not attractive. So it's not about, okay, that's her ethnicity, but she probably still wouldn't get attention, right? So let's just say it's a black woman. If you are presenting yourself the best way possible and what you know is attractive to men, then you can be successful but if you are making yourself not look attractive to men you know not what it's not about this well sometimes it can be obviously but if it's not about this and it's just about the way that you are making yourself look that could be the problem so just focus on changing your look focus on making yourself look look really nice look really beautiful attractive feel beautiful and and um, you know so I always use this I always use um Portia Williams as a point of reference because Portia <laughs> so right now she's basically got herself a sugar daddy let's be honest and 
she's so happy as well. Portia, I love Portia. She always looks lovely and she's honestly somebody who I look at and I'm like, wow. Because Portia's glow up has been insane. Do you guys remember how Portia used to look and how she looks now? And she's the black woman and she's everything now and she wasn't everything before. <laughs> so, so just bear that in mind. Mm -hmm. oh really oh okay so thank you for that so you still have to wear the concealer and stuff yeah because mine are so bad like ah I have literally had these for as long as I can remember even if I'm not tired if I am tired if I it's still going to be there so I want to do something about it so thank you for that hun okay so I'm not sure if I've missed any comments <clears throat> I'm currently 23 the guy I'm dating is 47 do you think it's a huge age difference and how do you deal when people stare hey MG so um guys excuse my voice right now okay so um the age difference, yeah, it is kind of considerable, but the end, at the end of the day, like, if you're trying to have an SD, then that has to be the age gap, to be honest, and so that's that thing, I think that's alright, 23, 47, if you're looking for a sugar daddy, then that's okay, if you're looking for somebody to marry right now, like, for me personally, if I was 23, I wouldn't want to marry a 47 year old so it just depends and everybody's different um so it depends on what you're looking for right now and with the whole people staring thing like you just have to not care anymore and I did that video guys what video was it my Instagram q and I spoke about that so you have to think do you want to be somebody who is staring at people or do you want to be somebody who is being stared at? So just think of who you would rather be. I hope this video isn't lagging. <laughs> Alright, so. What about when your friends... Wait, what? What about when your friends dating average guys while you're waiting... being? being single trying to secure your first bag all my friends are taken by the first man oh girl okay lady b so that should give you that like that should give you that excitement because it's happened for your friends so it's just a matter of time before it happens for you so get excited again get your mindset right because just by that your your vibration is is low it's on a, oh no, it's not happening for me yet, like what's going on? So change that right now, okay? So let's think of it in a positive way. Your friends have got there, so it's going to happen for you too. So let's make more of the way that you look. I'm not saying that that is the problem, but there's always things that we can change. So it could just be you um, getting out and starting to meet people like in person or something on different days you know maybe the weekends aren't working maybe you need to go in the weekdays maybe you need to try in the morning maybe the evenings will be better so it's about just getting out there more and increasing your chances of meeting that person for you because it's happened for your friends so it happens and it's just a matter of time for it happens for you so don't lose that excitement don't lose the um like the hope so just like you can if your friends have got there and you haven't yet then you can even look at them like okay she's got there and she I don't know she acts really girly maybe let me try and implement that not saying that this is the truth but okay my other friend she has her hair this length and she always gets guys approaching her or commenting on her hair so let me try that so you can try and think okay they've been successful and they're doing x y and z what can i do you know so just try and look at it a bit like that as well it's gonna happen for you hon 
So just don't get, don't lose the hope and stuff. Portia is my favourite. She looked miserable. Yeah, she she did. She looked so sad with her first husband. Oh my gosh. Portia is literally everything. So, and I love Tanya as well. I love Tanya. Okay, so. But no, do you know, you know the Real Housewives of Potomac? Karen is my favourite. I love Karen. Okay, so. Wait, if you, if you do your under eyes, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, if I, if I do do it, I really have to pluck up the courage to do that, because I'm scared, like, to put the needles and stuff all over here, it's like, wow, <laughs> so I'm kind of nervous, but if I do do it, I would definitely record it and stuff, yeah, so if somebody asks you if you've had an essay before, you always say yes, because then that way they know that they can't mug you off because you know what you want already. So you always say you have even if you haven't. Yes, this live is automatically saved. Vera, hey. How you know if he's stalling, how to get straight into the allowance. Um, Well, you know if he's stalling if when you meet for the first time he doesn't speak to you. Okay, let's just say he says to you when you guys meet up the first time and then he says to you something like, okay, let's just enjoy today. Let's not speak about the allowance. Let's just get to know each other. It's like, really? <laughs> really? So you've got to think, depending on what he says, that's when you know he's stalling. Or another situation is if you guys have um, said that, okay, let me be, let me be clear. If he said to you that when you guys meet, then you can discuss everything, you can discuss the finances part, and you can discuss all of the details, provided that you like each other, and then he doesn't bring it up, then it's obvious that, okay, he may be stalling, or he just might not like you. So it just depends. Every That's why, guys, I offer the um, the one-on-one -on -one sessions, because everybody's situation is going to be different, and I can give like tailored, specific advice for your situation because there are so many different variations of circumstances that you know there's so many different contributing factors that would change my answer so it really does depend how long you've been talking etc etc so um it just depends how do you get one if you aren't that pretty you have to make yourself pretty you gotta make yourself pretty honey so, have you seen my first video? And have you seen today's video? <laughs> so, you've got to make yourself look a bit nicer, honey. Um, so, yeah, just make yourself look nicer. With makeup, with hair, with outfits, with cosmetic surgery, with all of these things, you can make yourself look how you want to. So, don't let that hold you back if you aren't that pretty. Um... I personally, for me, I would say that I'm not, like, that amazing, like, naturally. I need to wear makeup. I need to have my hair and I need all of that stuff. Because without it, I look like basic Betty. So, if you're like me, wear the makeup, do this and do that, okay? So, guys, I'm going to have to end my live stream kind of here. date completely different now I used to entertain mm -hmm. well at least you uh at least you got your mind right now honey hey it's a curly thing hey Z, hey lashes yes so these are my individual lashes like most of them are gone now but it still looks halfway decent <laughs> okay guys I'm gonna end this video here thank you guys for watching and I really, really, I just want to say this. I really appreciate you guys watching my videos. Um, I really appreciate, you know, just, just everything. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. I think my next one will be the brow, how I do my brows, honey. So, yeah, if you want to watch that, then, I don't know, turn on your notifications. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, ladies. Bye.